Welcome to Easy Styling in Canvas, Part B, where we look at how to add color to your Canvas course with style declarations and your own color palette. In Part A of Easy Styling in Canvas, we looked at how to add padding to images using the Style Equals declaration in the HTML editor. Style declarations are also used to add color to page elements in Canvas. Color plays an important role in visual design where it is often used to signify meaning and guide action. So you don't want to add color randomly. When you use a particular color for a heading on a course page, the color and corresponding heading become linked in the learner's mind. This makes color useful for learning, but you have to be consistent in color choices. If an H3 heading is a particular color on one page, each H3 heading in the course should be the same color. To get consistent color across a canvas course, we use color palettes. Color palettes, also known as color schemes, are set combinations of colors that work together. Color palettes are easy to make and easy to use, and the web offers many free palette generators. To create a color palette though, you need a base color. A simple way to get a base color is to pick one from an image in your browser window and then paste it into a palette generator. To do that, you need a color picker. I use the Firefox add-on, Colorzilla, for this purpose. All major browsers offer Colorzilla or a similar free color picker as an option. After you add Colorzilla, an eyedropper icon appears on the browser menu bar. Click the eyedropper, and it's ready to copy color from any part of the browser window, and save it to your clipboard as a hex code. Hex codes represent color values as six-digit combinations of the numbers 1 through 9 and or the letters A through F. Every color in the digital universe has a corresponding six-digit hex code assigned to it, and we use these codes to style with color in CSS. For example, I want a base color for my palette. To do that, I click the eyedropper icon on the browser menu bar, scroll over the image, and watch the colors and hex codes in the pop-up viewer at the top of the window. Then, open Palatone, a free, online color palette generator, and paste the hex code into the color wheel. Once I hit the Enter key, the monochromatic palette for the color appears, and I can click through the options to see the different palettes. Adjacent, Triad, and Quadratic. I want the Triad palette, so I'll choose the Tables Export option at the bottom of the window. This shows me the colors, as well as the hex codes and RGB values. RGB stands for red, green, blue, and it's another method to describe color values. We only need the hex codes, so I'll select everything in the palette window, copy it using Ctrl-C on my keyboard, and then paste it into my course style document using Ctrl-V. Here, I delete the RGB values so that I have just the hex codes, and presto. A custom palette that shows colors and hex codes. Now I'm ready to add color to my page headings in Canvas with the style declaration. To add color to my headings, I'll first use the rich content editor to make them default Canvas blue. This way, Canvas adds the style declarations, and I can simply replace the Canvas hex codes with my own palette colors. Next, in the HTML editor, I locate the new style declaration after the H2 tag. Although style declarations can go inside the opening tag for any page element, Canvas uses a span tag to add style for headings. Span tags let you style selected sections or spans of content, and Canvas makes frequent use of them. In the opening span tag for the H2, we see style equals color colon and then the hex code. The blue font that I chose in the rich content editor has a hex value of 236FA1. To replace this, I select the six digits with a double click and paste my hex code over them. Here's the gold for the H2 and the green for the H3 headings. Then, select save to see how it looks. That's great, but the gold H2 looks too light. I better make sure it's accessible. It's important to ensure that the colors you use have enough contrast to be accessible. If they don't, Canvas notes it with a warning icon in the rich content editor, and it looks like one of my colors doesn't have enough contrast. Clicking the icon shows the issue in a sidebar. Sure enough, the gold is too light, 
so I'll use the darkest gold shade on my color palette. Another way to correct this though is to adjust the tone using the color picker in the sidebar. Move the picker toward the darker areas until the apply button activates. It means the color is accessible. But I want to stick to my palette, so I'll paste in the hex code from my palette. Switch back to the rich content editor to see if that works, and it does. Then, save. Just what I want. And that's all it takes to style fonts with color in Canvas. Now let's review our key points. Use color palettes to ensure consistent styling across course pages. Colors are stated as six digit hex codes. Hashtags always precede hex codes. And color is added with a style declaration. Span tags are used to style selected spans of content. And finally, always check to ensure color fonts are accessible. Now that you're familiar with hex codes and color in Canvas, you're ready for part C of this series, where we look at how to add color to page backgrounds and tab navigation. We'll see you there.